Come on up, Subversive. Uh, subversive Theater, I'm pretty sure some of the members of Subversive Theater are the reason that, that this is all going on. I'm getting nods by people who know. Guillotine Heads Will Roll. The sci-fi reality of Guillotine Heads Will Roll shows the horror of complacency and what can happen in a country where the fascination with electronic gadgetry, social media, and material comfort is chosen over freedom. The Bourbon Dynasty is perhaps the perfect study for excess to see that corruption is a foundation for tyranny. Current economic, social, and political conditions in America today parallel what existed in France at that time and ignited the French Revolution. A tour guide in Paris presents the history of the French Revolution juxtaposed against seeing the same from that time period and speeches from great freedom fighters. Find out what happened when corporate corruption and greed take over America and change the United States of America into USA Inc. when the people are no longer citizens but controlled employees of the first corporate state where democracy is outsourced and people are executed by guillotine. The razor, the corporate razor, is just thinking like the subversive rebel of America past, Thomas Jefferson. Thank you. Yes, in terms of theater, there's a guy named uh, Kurt Schneiderman over there who went to Montreal, I didn't notice I was speaking about it earlier, and saw this whole nonsense called the Infringement Festival, and he brought it back to Buffalo. And um, we wouldn't have it here. If it weren't for Kurt Schneiderman, we wouldn't have the Buffalo, we wouldn't have the Buffalo Infringement Festival, right? Right. So can we get a round of applause for Kurt Schneiderman for that? Right. I don't think he's here. It's not my fault. Oh, that's good. Uh, we got Sean McGill, Unnatural Motion. Come on up, man. How's it going, folks? Uh, I am Sean McGill. I am a local poet. I run for Buffalo Blog, and I play a band called Unnatural Motion. We're doing a show on August 3rd called Satan's Luau. Satan might actually show up. We're, uh, it's like West Coast infused music at Club Diablos. We figured why not wear Hawaiian shirts and get everybody laid. Alright, uh, for the last little bit of my uh, my two minutes, I'm going to announce my poetry readings during this infringement festival. One on July 28th at Nietzsche's for the kickoff show. One on July 29th at 224 Gallery at about 7 o'clock. And one on August 6th at Sweetness Up at 5 p.m. It's just an hour of me. The last of my time, I'm going to read about five haikus if I have. Uh, about four, actually. One of them is, uh, they all, I wrote them all today. Here's one. Uh, emerging artists, all in one place together. And on here. Uh, here's another one. Two minutes to speak to explain your craft in ways anyone can eat. A landmark of time, the definition of a big day for us all. And uh, this last one that I wrote is actually for my buddy Ricky, who actually lived his last moments in this restaurant. Uh, somber moments in the last place a friend lived. Rest in peace, Ricky. All right. Once again, Sean McGill, www.backdoorspeakeasy.com. It's in the bathroom doors. Please do Some good stuff. Uh, we got, this is a press play, Salvation Lamps, What Turns You On?
That was put together, those were those sculptures, functional sculptures put together by Jay over there. is no Gogi, no Gogi in the skulls.
Um, so when the band takes a break, we can come out and that way all the guests and everyone are still entertained through the whole show. I mean, we can do this. There's more than just a two of us. As you can see, we have anywhere from two to 18 people come spin fire with us where we can, you know, keep the fire going for up to two hours without letting the fire go out for even a second. Yeah, but we're also fully insured. So at ease, we are fully insured. Thank you. 